Hogs from space have taken over the White House. And the frequency of flying feline sightings appears only to be increasing as the storm approaches. And now back to our live action news election night coverage. I'm joined now by political analyst and protein purification expert, Dr. Sylvia Spiegel. Welcome, Dr. Spiegel. This appears to be shaping up as a one-sided fight. Oh, absolutely, Adam. This is a one-sided it, fight. It, it's Elvin. What? My name, it, it's Elvin Akron. It's right here on the screen. As I was saying, Adam, our polling shows conclusively that we're looking at a landslide victory for the incumbent. And frankly, I can't see it going any other way tonight. <laughs> Uh, you know, the real keys to winning this election, Edward, are and always have been uh, market leadership and obviously superior knowledge in the area of protein purification. And, well, they're just so shiny. <laughs> Doctor, to hear you tell it, the incumbent seems to have generated a nearly insurmountable lead in this race. So tell me, Dr. Spiegel, what would it take for this young green upstart to overtake the obvious market leader? Um, you know, they're not going to be able to touch the big guy. Uh, he's unreachable. Uh, no, it's a slam dunk tonight. We're going to paint that map red. And uh, we're looking at global domination, quite frankly, from Schenectady to Uppsala. Thank you, Dr. Spiegel, for your insights, as usual. Now, even with this apparent tsunami of polling data among the throngs of voters wishing to stay the course with the candidate that they've known for years, even if he is a little unresponsive or inflexible or not available when you need him, there does appear to be a tiny little grassroots movement among the more open-minded voters of the Green Tea Party. So we thought we'd send a reporter out just to say that we did. And we turn our attention now to our very own uh, reporter Emily Chavez Ram Ramanamajamanam, who has been following this movement very closely. Emily. Good evening, Arnold. Well, it appears this movement, it's gaining some traction despite the media hype for the big money candidate. In fact, some protein purification voters believe that a truly scalable solution, it's not a laughing matter. In fact, one Green Tea Party activist has recorded his own music video, which has gone viral, singing the blues about the Inertia Party's complex platform. But the bigger story tonight, well, it's actually counting the votes before we call the election for the old guard. I'm standing here in front of a suburban office park polling station waiting for voters to emerge, and here's one now. Ma'am, excuse me, were the pundits right? Were you shamed into voting for the market leader? Sir, did you vote for the incumbent like the pundits claim? They said the establishment, they would threaten you in front of your colleagues if you voted green. Uh, no. So, so you didn't succumb to the pressure? No, man. I voted green all the way. We all did, right? It's a no-brainer. I mean, any candidate that offers me flexibility, scalability, yeah, an intuitive and a modular system, and from a company that offers me everything I need for my research, that's going to get my vote yes every time. Yeah. Right, people? Yeah. Vote yes. Vote oh, green. Don't underestimate the power of the people, man. Yeah. Vote yes. Vote, vote green. green. Vote yes. Vote, vote green. green. Vote yes. Vote green. So there you vote have green. it. If this group of voters is any indication, it appears the tide is turning away from the inertia party and toward the green tea challenger. As the man said, don't underestimate the power of the people, man. Reporting live, this is Emily Chavez Ramakrishnan for Live Action News. Back to you, Edwin. Well, uh, thank you very much, Emily. So, Dr. Spiegel, slam dunk for the inertia party? Oh, well, the electorate can be so fickle. Uh, but as I've been saying all along, um, this is exactly the outcome I was expecting. No, actually, that's not what you've been saying. Well, I most clearly stated earlier, scalability and flexibility, uh, thoughtful design, and an intuitive interface yeah, are what the people want. Um, but 
counter to the media, people will sometimes make their own choices. How true. Thank you, Dr. Speaker. Okay, let's take one more look at the big map. 80% of the precincts are now reporting, and with the exception of one small area here in red, in central Jersey, most regions previously entrenched in the inertia camp are turning green. Oh, and I'm now getting word. Hang on. Yes, yes, we can officially call it. The tide apparently has turned. The combination of scalability, modularity, and intuitive design turned out to be a winning platform for the Green Tea Party. These people may indeed get what they want after all. That wraps up our live action news election night coverage. For the complete story, please visit us online. I'm Alvin Akron. Thank you and good night.